them. Yeah, and we're wasting no more time, Toby. We're jumping straight into map number four for Kendi, the Winter Wonderland. Oh, imagine if you could go visit those rocks there. That would be some mm -hmm, real Arctic mm -hmm. warfare. Good snowboarding down the hills there, I'm sure. Yeah, we had yeah. some fun time yesterday uh, noticing the... What is it? The local industry of making water things. Oh, yeah. That's water clearly things. how yep, McKendie yep, made yep, its money yep. back in the day in the theme park. Mm -hmm. Visited Dino that park. as a child. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was a good time. Good memories. Dino Looking Park. Dinosaurs down there. The Cosmodrome as well. Yeah. For our astronaut adventures. That was good times. <laughs> good times. <laughs> oh, look to the left. He's back. It's Hulk Jesus. And if anything, oh, my brother, that is a sign that there is hope and salvation Wait, potentially <laughs> in the pipeline for Greece and Cyprus. He's actually on Weekendy as well. Mm, Hulk Jesus. Is. It doesn't matter if it's snowy or if it's sunny. Hulk Jesus will be there to support you. And we head out of the cathedral <laughs> to a nice overview of uh, Volnova. Mm -hmm, Koski mm -hmm, has mm -hmm. dropped in, kind of just taken over as town mayor. Yeah, we'll see and we see a, a, a very wide split, uh, spaced out Ooh. teams on, on both sides of the server. Goraka could be the uh, place of confrontations as well. And then again, of course, for those of you guys who have been living under a rock, might that be a snowy one, you would uh, be confused by what's happening with a snowmobile driving around mm. in a cave right now. But what we can tell you is that down here, if you are so lucky, you will go down to where FF Baronara is. We see him right north of Code Marco. Is, and, uh, and you can get yourself some nifty level 3 gear down there with the crates. Yeah, there's two crates, right? Exactly. Two crates. And we saw... Greece and Cyprus uh, prioritized that yesterday. It wasn't mm -hmm, Ukraine that got mm -hmm, it. I think it was Greece mm -hmm. and Cyprus. Yeah. He drove a truck straight through the wall, got in there and got that early gear. At this point, because now we've seen it so many times, I have got to ask, if we look at the map real quick, what is up? Because we questioned it last time. What is up with Code Marco never, ever landing with his teammates? He's always like at least two kilometers away from the closest teammate. Yeah, this time he's joined by Ozzy. Or he has Ozzy. a teammate now. That might but be like the... he, he is always that outlier he's for, so far away. for Team Turkey. Oh, the what? youth is, is just getting lit in the winery. He's looking for some <laughs> aged bottles of pirate... I was going to say rum, but they're in a winery. So some <laughs> aged pirate wine. Would be more thing? accurate. Pirate wine? Bro, look... All right, we've made it a thing. <laughs> oh, it's it's. Uh, we've made it a thing, Andy. Oh yeah, thank you, Pablo. <laughs> thank you, Pablo. We're now uh, <laughs> we're, oh, we're we're back there. Okay, okay. I wasn't there. Uh, oh. I, was, I wasn't there yet, but I'm, I'm sure we can we can engage in in those memes now. Mithrain, General <laughs> Turkey, setting up shop in a little graffiti house. He's thinking I could put some new plants on this balcony, rear them up like I've reared my team into a fighting force to be reckoned with. Take the fight says the robot, and I'm sure that's what will be happening very yeah. soon on this wonderful wintry map. I mean, had it been up against any other team, the Greece and Cyprus team would have already sprinted headfirst towards the teams on the eastern side. Same thing going the other way around. Turkey would just have said, you know what, guys, we might be outnumbered, but we're sending it here. We know we can do this. But with these two teams, I mean, despite both of them being so aggressive, they have been, I mean, sure, sure, Turkey has been the more the more abusive one when it came to taking landmass, but none of them has really been the ones that wanted to engage initially. Yeah, indeed. It, it, each game has had a steady rise. I mean, in yeah. the previous map, when we saw... Um, <laughs> Sandhawk, yeah. it was slightly faster, but it seems that Turkey versus Greece and Cyprus so far has been the most steady matchup, yeah. which is what we identified it has. before. It has. Despite the fact that we're seeing a 3-0 right now, it's not, not, it's not really, uh, not really uh, showcasing how, how close some of these fights have actually been. Yes. Shaxi there getting the first knot onto yours, Death. It's coming in now as well. Code and Mr. Marco. Korokas also falling. Code Marco, and despite he's being alone, he's actually oftentimes getting kills too. That's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Oof. It's an intense engagement here. Luster is kind of by himself. Okay, now yeah, he's he, falling back too, yeah. Yeah, potentially there coming up the stairs, he was hoping that the Turkish players would overcommit and mm. then his death squad in the neighboring house could pop, pop out and, and get some cheeky kills, but didn't work out like that. He did put off some nice damage, but then decide to back off. And what's interesting here is that this is a map that's, first of all, is the newest uh, map added to the game, but also it's not one we've really been using in the competitive map pool. And we keep talking about how all these players are very competitive players in the competitive scene, and they will, for the most part, only pretty much be playing a Wrangle and, uh, and Miramar. So some, maybe some, maybe so, some, some off angles here they won't be expecting. This is a far start yeah. to Vikendi. We're seeing a lot 
of battling happening over the map. We know Code Marco, when he was off with Ozzy or whatever, <laughs> managed to get into a fight straight away. And now around Garoka, we've got Turkish squad and a Greek squad. Oh, oh. Molotov there. BSD just gets out of it. Yeah, Turkish squad and a Greek squad um, going at each other. Tooth and nail. Just for HP off. He sure could have been rest, but uh, close one. Close one. Lifts with the scare. Yep, the old classic uh, healing technique mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. when you've been burnt alive is to just chuck a, <laughs> chuck a soda real quick. <laughs> drink that energy drink. Stay alive. But uh, now, once again, this is like a repeat of results. Then now before they're getting swarmed down completely. Dark Sir is just getting in there saying, guess who? Well, that's going to be me, and I'm going to take you down and out. And, uh, well, not a whole lot more they can do. Nifo is, uh, oh, he's buying himself a bit of time. Of course, you want to get those clashes in with it, but uh, he's very outnumbered. Nice angle. Mithrain doing a great job. He's wide in the open on a rooftop, but considering the positions of his team, mm. he doesn't really have to worry about getting sniped off from any distances or run up on in a close engagement. And that's a two for eight trade going in the favor of Turkey. Yeah. Really, really two for eight. a first engagement to have if you're... Oh, Jaxi. He was rest before, but um, then Doc was like, you know what, buddy? Can I just test out this Molotov <laughs> Can I just on you? <laughs> smash this Molotov on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah, sometimes things don't make sense, and this time it didn't either. But, um, hey, but at least things are making more sense than USA Brazil last night. Yeah, the hand yeah, of freedom that was, that was, rained down hell. They, they, they gave them a lot of freedom then. Yeah. And, uh, now we'll see MFS. That was when Hulk Jesus was really flowing through our veins. Oh, they actually hit him there. What is good it? Shot. 1 in the morning. That was fun. Yeah, that was a good one. MFS here, taking up position as the Turkish sniper, as the Greek players back off into the woodland hills, looking for safety, looking for cover. And this isn't necessarily something we've seen from Greece and Cyprus, having to back off regularly and taking engagements that aren't in their favor. But the thing is, that's what I was going to say. When they've been fighting, even when they haven't been in the better spot, they have always been the victors. Yes. So they've never really had to worry about... I mean, coming into this, they hadn't lost a single map on Irangle, for example. Now they mm. lost two of them on a row today, right? They've never been on the back heel. They've always been the ones engaging. I mean, but that's just them completely pulled out of their comfort zone. Oh, Vasago and co pushing up quite far on a skidoo, which is pretty in the open. It's a strategy, yeah. Nifo st <laughs> still managing to diagonally dodge the bullets from multiple Turkish He's snipers. running from the entire Turkish team and yeah. he has one tree of cover right now. We need, we need some Benny Hill music right now as he, as he dodges, the, dodges the bullets. Maybe he's not Nifo anymore. Maybe he's just Neo, you know? <laughs> No, that would be... Um, oh, and there's no spoon. There is no yeah, spoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is no spoon. Oh, yeah. Was it the, the Oracle or Morpheus that said I think there it's is, Morpheus. That says there is no spoon. Oh, it's got to be the Oracle. It's, it's got to be the Oracle, with, yeah. The oh, it's the, the kid. No, it's the kid. With the spoon that looks at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's like, the kid, not the Oracle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There is no spoon. Yeah, there is no That's spoon. That's a good movie. <laughs> oh, dude, one of the best movies of all time, in my opinion. Yeah, and Nifo just managing. No! Oh, as he so gets close! To, as, he, as he gets to the lip of the hill, he oh, does get knocked. I don't no. think it's a safe res. This is Game of Thrones all over again. He cannot just Skeleto run is risking it. He's running up. He's hoping to save his down teammate. Yumba is doing damage now. This might be Turkey overextending. They want to get that one kill, but look at how many players. Oh, that's a, not a complete other area of the map. Never yep. mind. <laughs> no, it can be hard to tell with the, the camera. It's snow around everywhere. The no, it's, it's snow, snow everywhere. But, but nonetheless, it's part, could of actually, the, part of the chaos of 30 versus 30, right? Could actually still be an overcommitment. They all came up to get one kill. Like, look at how many Turkish players are running up the hill now, and look at how many players from Greece and Cyprus are actually sitting up here waiting for them, and now they're starting to get some knocks off. Mm. But then it's returned. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turkey. That's, that's what Turkey is good at. I mean, every time it seems to go in the favor of Greece, boom, they're just there to respond immediately. I love the way in PUBG it always seems that the geography dictate what happens in a fight. You know, each team is trying to take advantage of the world around yeah. them. And then, of course, the circle facts in. But it's the land and how yeah. you maneuver around it um, that really decides what happens. You know, where are the safe spots? Which angles do you have? Mm. And right now, they've, they've ended up being on this hill that was uh, originally a safe haven. 
Turkey chased off them, and that's when the bath starts kicking off. Now it's Turkey, as you said, maybe feeling that they've been a bit overextended, backing off slightly, and we've got this big wide gap that's kind of, mm. kind of going from um, the top of the screen around to the right. And yeah, they're, they're, they're the two front lines being formed between the two teams and, and the trees in between them. It's quite the sight. It's a lot of in, uh, it's very enjoyable to watch. Turkey were up. I mean, Greece have lost one player in all of what we just saw now, and they've just narrowed it down to just a two team, a two player difference. Mm. Hugely important comeback. It might not seem that they're, they're big when the grand scheme of things, but hugely important. But look at what the disengage. We see in the bottom corner of your map right there. This is the northeastern edge of the circle. They are disengaging now because they have got the entirety of the uh, Greek and Cypric team caught off up on the mountain. Yep. I do feel your point about Turkey overextending is a key one at this point in the match because it, it that chase into the woods up the hill didn't work out for them and now they've backed off mm. and they are readjusting, they're, they're changing their approach yeah. and they've come off with some losses. With yeah, they, some just didn't have, they just didn't have to push it all the way up there. I mean, they already knew that they were on the edge. You can see the blue coming in now as well. In circle two. In circle two, they've already got them pinned Ooh. in. And now Code Marco, 10 years later. Oh, boy. He is coming in. He is coming in hot. Him and Arcee, they're... Uh, now we need eight team music. We're we here. Team we're music. here. Yeah. Where are the opponents? And now, as soon as they start shooting, like eight guys will be turning around to spot well, yeah, them I out. Don't, I don't know how mm. deep he should be going here. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I don't think any of the Greek Cypriot players have an idea that they're behind them. Be in a spot where you can get info and not get caught. And if you get caught, you have need to have like sort of an exit this. route. And he's actually working his way up to Chinje. Is he going to it. get the general frag? No, the head just oh, bobbing up and down over the top of that rock formation. That would be the backstab of the century. Yeah. It's like Stratico, just all the way around this side. Assassination. Take him out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It would be the um, the man that could, but seems like he... Uh, he we, we, we've we've kind of given him a little a little uh, a little tough time for maybe shooting too early, but now he's he's not. So the thing you. is though, with this position, Code Marco and Ozil have or Ozzy have. Do you think we're going to see uh, a similar thing to what we saw in the last Sandhawk game, where there was some informational plays being made, and then Turkey reacted to it by sending that second force to split and um, and crush? I think the reason that Code Marco and got around is because first of all, they're only two oh guys. God, so second deep. of all, they came from the east already and looked oh, at there the we positioning go. coming in. Code Margo goes down, Ozzy down too. They got some info, but in the end, there will be no more for them to pick off. And now, just once again, we're pretty much tied up here. Indeed, 23 to 22. This circle, though. Yikes. A lot of Greek sides on the left, um, left portion of the kill feed. This ain't going to be easy. I mean, for um, at this point, just because of this circle alone, and I know we say that the Greece and Cypric teams, like players, don't really care too much about the circle. But at this point, for every one player you have in Greece and Cyprus, you can pretty much count it three advantage-wise. Because every one player in Turkey would be able to take down at least two or three of the Greek and Cypric players as they come running down through this open field. Because that's like their only entry point to the next circle. They have to run down the hill and then cross a huge open field. Yep, and we're seeing Pepe Le Pew starting that journey right mm -hmm. now, along with mm -hmm. Sora and Skeleto. And the Turkish players have three pushed up, Saturk and Honor and Kozki in the brush, in, in the trees. Gecko and Black Label also pushed up a bit, but on the side of the Greek Cypriot team. The blue is already pushing in. If, if, Gre if Greece push up more here, could the no man's land end up being where Turkey are currently sat? So I took his time. Wanted to make sure he could connect it, and he did. Great trigger discipline. Very Good well. Shots. Very well. Oh, now he misses okay. them when he's completely he still. <laughs> Don't look at him anymore. No, it's getting embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> he's so skilled that he can only land oh, hard shots. One of my favorite snake Bush in bookies. the grass. Yeah, just chilling around. It's a in his naked legs. It's a turk. Protrude, Love protruding from the bush. A man with no fear. Lying down in no snow pain. in the in the open, <laughs> not fully dressed, freezing his soul and his heart for his team. But he's, I mean, as well, he might not be the one who's going to get a lot of kills here, but 
he's going to get so much info. If they all run past him, and he can be like, hello, guys, and start shooting at them from behind, he will force X amount of players to turn around. I mean, the fact that he can tell them there's no and one pushing north right now. Yeah, and with the circle, Turkey are in a very strong position. Yeah. Greece and Cyprus need to make a move. Pandek start things off with a knock onto Honor, but they're going to have to go across this no man's land, the no man's land where our snake is currently yeah. sat um, on, t on the side of Team Turkey. We have seen... Greece give up so much space today because they had some circles in their favor a few times early on that Turkey Oof. utilized. Good shot by Marina. We know she can do these things. She has a lot of highlight reels uploaded on YouTube, and that one was one to add to it for sure. But um, for, for, for Greece and Cyprus right now, they're all in the blue. Every single player from Greece and Cyprus is in the blue, and they need to get the hell in because we're already in phase four, and these are starting to do more and more damage. Yep. Turkey have the dominant position. It's Greece and Cyprus that need to make the move. Usually something that they're on the opposite side of. They're the ones that control the pace, but it's Turkey that are doing such great work. 21 to 14 now. They are taking full advantage of the blue closing in. Toby, this is a massacre. It is, and look at the commitment. Look at the way they're able to pin them out in the blue. This is what Greece and Cyprus could have done in game, in game one had they been in a better position, had they played it earlier. And right now, Turkey is just 100% outplaying the Greece and Cyprus team. Sure, they had that same Second circle, hard shift down far west, but immediately you would need to have seen the Greek and Cyprus team do something about it. They do have the, uh, they do have they the have from behind. They have a little duo uh, coming uh, from Mikolito, behind. Mikolito coming in from behind and Botsman, but there is going to be so much to do because it's 20 versus 5. This is game over and potentially a clean sweep for the uh, Turkish team. Yeah, Toby, this is too much to do. It's 19 to 3 for in Turkey. Before, in Greece before. and Cyprus are at the end of their tether. What can they do at this point? They just don't have the numbers. They don't have the bullets. Turkey have played an amazing series. It's going to be a whitewash. The final shot's coming in from Botsman. He's standing tall, standing proud, trying to save his team. But at this point, surely, it's just a save face. What do they do here, though? There's a chance. And yeah, I know. I'm just trying to hype up something that's not really hype worthy. But uh, two guys alive, two guys alive. There's one guy alive. Okay, yep. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Botsman, he has some ground, he has some room, he has an AK, some smokes, two Molotovs. And uh, well, the, as long as they keep nading each other, then uh, you know, there's a chance. But 12 HP. I'm not too confident for you anymore, Botsman. Indeed, the final nail in the coffin, about to go down. 